Oh, well, shit. Uh, edgy. Right, we're live, yeah. Yeah, I've sent it to Edgy. Who else was there? Um, uh, um, Louis? Yeah, that's right. Louis. Um, oh, God. Man, I, it's too fucking late. It's 5.30 at <laughs> fucking night. 6.30 here. Uh, that goes to you. Didn't he leave? I can't remember. I I'm just saying. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, wait, let me check. I'm just going to go to your Twitter and go through the... Yeah, good idea. Out. But yeah, I've sent it to Edgy and I've sent it to Louis. I've sent it to T. I've sent it to you. Uh... <laughs> I just yeah, saw John. I the... just saw John cry, <laughs> being hugged. <laughs> That's so sad. Where is it? Oh, I do you back. There we go. Right. Perfect. Okay. Are I we think back in business? We're... Do we still miss someone? Yeah. Who? We yeah, missing? we got Tyler. We got to get Tyler. Yes, that, oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, Anti. Okay. Never mind. Teasing. I knew I was someone I was missing. I knew that. Yeah, uh, uh, so whoever, whoever was mentioning the popular vote in the, the last one, I just was going to say, sorry, I need to drop out. He picked up a bunch of votes, so uh, Donald Trump has regained the popular vote. Good, good. And I was saying, like, it's a good thing, too. Like, I don't, I don't care at this point, but, you know, like, I'm not in favor of Donald Trump, but I'll just say that I really don't want, like, if he's going to win, I want him to win. I don't want any yeah. kind of fucking bullshit going down with yeah, yeah. one winning the popular one winning the electoral vote because yeah. that's going to that is going to lead to like Ramon or Brexit situation where yeah. just make people it are going happen. to non-stop bitch and go crazy yeah and if anything is going to lead to any kind of civil strife it's going to be fucking that so yeah. no thanks yeah just have a clean yeah. done right clear victory clean victory yeah. let it be over who's celebrating down there is that it's Trump? Be Trump's but is anything no, 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 that's that's Hillary's. That's Hillary's. They're in a state of denial right now. Hispanic vote, and there were so many headlines in this last week about waking the sleeping giant when you talk about. I don't know what they're clapping about, but maybe somebody virtue signaled about women. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's probably what happened. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, Trump Very is now up by uh, about a thousand in New Hampshire again. Maine and Michigan tonight both approved minimum wage increases. Yeah, and economic impact. We talked about the markets, uh, but gold is up more than four percent uh, tonight. <laughs> nice. Just so that everybody knows that. <laughs> and everyone's getting their mesothelioma medicine. And the Dow <laughs> is down. It's more a box in journal joke. And, uh, and I think the S&P 500 halted at uh, 5% down, as you mentioned uh, before. Let's bring back our panel. Uh, Dana, Juan, Monica, Chris, Carl, Britt, and Chris. Okay, Monica, uh, your perspective on this. I think what we're seeing unfold tonight is the most astonishing political story of our lifetimes. If you think about it this way, Donald Trump, who has never done this before, the ultimate outsider essentially had very little money relative to Mrs. Clinton, who had about $2 billion at her disposal for this campaign, had an skeletal campaign to this day, is pulling the entire thing off. We have never seen anything like this before, uh, certainly in recent political history and maybe ever in the history of the Republic. I got a tweet. And what it shows is the power of the people, that both the Republican conservative base as well as independents, disaffected Democrats, they have taken a look at the bipartisan vote hearings and they have said, we've had it with all of y'all and we're going to try something completely different. By the way, the cheers you hear are the actual boards we're putting up as you're talking, and they have the vote totals <laughs> underneath. And, and they love Monica. Right. <laughs> um, you know, Michigan, 17. Oh, there it goes. But basically, Donald Trump leading in Michigan. Yep. Is that woman crying? Pennsylvania. Yep. And no, leading. Crying. Sargon, check that tweet that I just sent out. In the uh, chat, actually, check that tweet. That's that's just the ultimate symbol of Hillary Clinton's loss—a crying black woman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Jesus, what, 
Well, I don't know. But I don't but, get what the fucking black god. Fucking black. I, I don't get why she, why black people are turning out for Hillary Clinton. I, I've heard things like, oh, well, the Clintons did a lot in the South for black people, and it's like, okay, what? What did they do? Was it, you know, the when they reformed welfare? Was, was that the thing they did that black people love them for? I, I just, I, I don't get why because there is support. Like I said, they're in, yeah, yeah, yeah. in, uh. Uh, districts that are heavily black, there is a serious turnout. And I don't get it. Hillary Clinton excites that demographic, and I just don't really understand why. I just want one of these states, I, I just want Michigan to, or fucking Pennsylvania to get called so I can go to bed. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I do want to see the speeches, of course. I have to see the speech. The concession yeah, speech, yes. I guarantee you, man, it's it's as close or longer, uh, or, you know, to Mitt Romney's delay. Like there was a major delay, before, like when they announced, okay, it's over. Mitt Romney lost, you know, uh, Obama's back in. And there was a very long pause before Mitt Romney finally came out. And I'm telling you, the exact same thing is going to happen with Clinton. They will be fucking shocked. They will be stunned that they fucking lost. And it's going to take like a good 20 minutes to set in before they can muster her ass up to go out there and fucking, you know, hey, Trump, here you go. You did it, buddy. Good on you, man. If only I raised a little bit more Saudi money, that would have done it. Yeah. <laughs> Two billion just wasn't enough. To yeah, it wasn't enough. We need a little hands. bit more. A little bit more Saudi money. It's Jeez. it's looking increasing like Trump has Michigan. Yeah. yeah he's ahead by um. One percent of mine, but uh, it's yeah, still going up. Yeah, he. I, I'm surprised oh, they haven't called. State, uh, counties way. coming in, are they? <laughs> are we just gonna wait till fucking tomorrow before we wonder what Alaska does at this point? Uh, Seriously, wait, wait. <laughs> let's take a look at the Chank Cam again. <laughs> <laughs> Alaska is all committed like mass suicide. Yeah, they're gone. gone. They yeah, got they're barbell. Gone. They and got still, barbell. I'm telling you. So forget Wisconsin. She loses Wisconsin. She loses Arizona. She wins Minnesota. That takes she's two fifteen. Minnesota takes her to two twenty five. Right. Uh, wins Michigan. That sixteen takes her to two forty one. Wins Pennsylvania. Takes her to two sixty five. Yeah. Where are you wins going Maine. With takes us. <laughs> Is too close to call, which is, I mean, it has no patience anymore. Great state of Alaska. <laughs> oh, so oh look, at, look at the Hillary cam. Look at the Hillary cam. Look at that guy. Jesus. I, I just, I, here comes. Look search. at that it's face. Over. <laughs> here comes that mug. He, I, I'm oh, never I, so happy to see that we are happy people. I'm sorry. I was, I, I had myself muted. Um, on my, I have this virtual mixer thing, but um, this whatever this idiot on the left's name is, I can't remember. It ben. sounds like Ben. It sounds like he's trying to make an ben. argument for for Clinton still having some kind of path to victory at this point. Yeah, and he's try, he's trying to be, remain. I, extremely I guess it's statistically possible. That, that Asian guy's been crying. Election isn't called yet. We're going to wait through Alaska. No, I'm kidding. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> but when we come back, the other thing we got to discuss is... There's some uh, more crying people. <laughs> uh, because that is, of course, exceedingly likely at this point. So what's he going to do? The cabinet, all that. We're finally going to get to that. We talk, you ripped the Democrats to shreds. Let's talk about the Republicans and what their plans are. And by the way, I got to read you this real quick. Um, uh, our guys uh, that went to go protest Hillary Clinton... Uh, they are going to Trump. They're walking to Trump headquarters, okay? So uh, go join them. Uh, Trump's headquarters at the Hilton Hotel, 1335 Avenue of the Americas. And I don't know how many of the guys uh, are going to be left, but they're headed there right now. 
So apparently we're going to go pre protest Trump. 1335 Avenue. Protest Trump. Or then hopefully from Michael Schur. That'll do it. Wait a It's going to be rioting. It's going to end up wait, in violence. Wait a minute, Clinton hit that glass ceiling. Are they organizing a harassment campaign or something? That's probably. weaponized glass, That's fine, probably. Though. Weaponized glass ceiling. Leigh Alexander just tweeted out an article, I think, and it says, Tonight we bathe in tears of neckbeard virgins making fun of Trump voters. I think so this is earlier. Leigh Alexander. Oh, <laughs> yeah, mocking. It's from Gizmodo, and it's mocking the fact that, that Trump was supposed to lose by a lot. Oh, Leigh, darling, is that a shame? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's um. How could you be so stupid to to say that? I I think even even Sam Harris tweeted something like "Bye bye Donald," and then a few hours later he tweeted, "Okay, yeah, sorry for that." that. Was <laughs> I tell you, I'm archiving Lee's tweet there. Yeah, I, I mean, Did you find it. She's been consistently wrong on everything she's ever put on the internet since the start of Gaming Gate. Yeah. She thought she was going to win that, and she lost that. It, even, even a proud deplorable like me was willing to say, whoever wins today, we aren't going anywhere. I wasn't going to be like, oh, yeah, Trump's yeah. going to crush her, and, like, you know, it just you're just being an asshole at that point. And yeah. you sound ridiculous when you're making such definitive statements like that. The, the really only declarations that yeah. I've heard from Trump supporters is, we have the momentum, which, yes. I mean, sure, yeah. they had the momentum, they had the excitability factor. Um, and then they had Hillary Clinton. That was their best weapon, in my opinion, for Trump, is Hillary Clinton. I'll, I'll reiterate that as much as I possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the young Turks. Look, the guy. <laughs> I think it's just been? another ad. Go and make your own assessment. What else can I say? I mean, I guess it's all in the title, right? It's murder with friends. <laughs> What the fuck is this? It's like some weird, like, yandere advertisement or some shit. What is this? Keep your weep shit out of here, Lewis. This is not going to be a weird election. Somebody. Yandere whoever, is the worst dairy. I stand by it. Whoever is. Uh, whoever is playing. Uh, is hosting this Hillary stream is playing some kind of metal music right now. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> 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 it's like so contrasting from the faces on the screen. It's so weird. Yeah, yeah it's it's honestly that's the sound of Trump destroying her right now. It's, yeah, we need, <laughs> it's not the music like, they want. We should be playing. We need like fifties ballads. That's what we need to be hearing right now from our campaign. Sad songs. No. And a feeling of gee, I got to change the way I do business right. is necessarily going to be at the top right. of, of of his agenda. He may think, you know what? Yeah. I, I, I'm smarter than all these guys. It worked out you, okay you, for me. You, you may be right, Chris. And, and I, uh, I, you probably Trump's are. Trump's pulling ahead in Pennsylvania. Because the 97%. Yeah, it's still, it's still really close. I think he was actually a little bit more ahead than that. Michigan, he's still ahead. He's been ahead in Michigan for a while. Yeah, but look at the uh, look at the Guardians on Pennsylvania. It's gone yeah. about. Oh, they just updated. Yeah. And he's up by fifty thousand, a little bit less than fifty thousand. Forty eight point six. Yeah, ninety eight. <sighs> uh, that's wild in Pennsylvania. This has been uh, quite a night of streaming. If I like crazy, yeah, uh, yeah, because I, I started. We're, off, we're on eight hours now. When I mean, when when you started the stream, Sargon, and when I first joined, I was like, eh, I don't think he's gonna win. He's probably, okay. he's probably done, you know. And uh, and now, <laughs> it's still shocking to me. Like I still can't envision it happening. I mean, I know, no, no, but. I always thought I it was just going to be memes, man. I just thought it was going to be memes. I'm actually I starting don't. to think about a Trump presidency now. Like, I don't, I don't, I haven't planned for this. I've just been memeing shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See now, now, unfortunately, um, I have a feeling that his presidency is going to be me having to, because I mean, I, I, I've argued with Vernaculus about this on Twitter before, because you know, as we all know, he likes to take the middle on everything yeah. or on 
you know, as often as possible. And I remember trying to convince him, just vote for Trump, just vote for Trump. And he's like, well, there's too much risk involved. I don't want to put my, sign my name onto that because who knows what he's going to do. And I remember specifically saying, well, you know what, if he gets in and he fucks up, I will be right there with you criticizing him. And now I have to stick to that. I can't just be like, go Trump for the next four years. Trump is up again in New Hampshire. If, if no one said that and I missed it. Yeah, he has, he has been for a while. That's the one I've been watching. No, he, it flipped. You know, it flipped not really that long ago. Special. Yeah. It's bloody close, though, isn't it? Finally, they just gave an update that Alaska's finally going to fucking submit some fucking information. I don't know what <laughs> they're waiting so long. I thought they were all dead. I'm genuinely Almost surprised. one in the goddamn point. morning. See, it's about time, Alaska. You fucking assholes. This is which. I don't know Can you really expect mean, much from a fucking state that would elect Sarah Palin? Well, I, I, I mean, they're gonna get all we need is Anchorage. Boom. That's yeah, that's fucking Alaska. Bringing in the votes on one of those dog sleds to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> it's taking so long. They're mailing it in. Oh my god! If he if he wins, like Pennsylvania and Michigan, that would be that would be not only it obviously, but that'd be like a real definitive statement. No, that'd be a big electoral win right there if he won. If yeah. he won both of those, that would put him way over. Because uh, do we have? Uh, did Arizona get counted yet on the Fox News one? No, it didn't. No, they're not counted yet. They're they sh they might as well be, but I'm glad yeah. they're kind of holding off on it. <laughs> I, I want to see him. For? I, I want to see him win because of New Hampshire. That, that, to me, that would just be funny. Is nah, he, he it's not enough. Pennsylvania and Michigan. It's not enough. No, because he gets Alaska. He, he gets Alaska, uh, Arizona. That's fourteen, and then he gets New oh. Hampshire, which is eighteen. And he only needs sixteen. Okay. Now. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the idea of him taking New Hampshire at all is is pretty hilarious to me. Slim. <laughs> yeah. It's, watching it flip back and forth like every ten minutes to me has been the most entertaining part. That's why I've been watching it so closely. Yeah, because you can watch it and then... Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, if this map turns out the way that I'm thinking it's going to turn out, it's it's a fucking embarrassment for Hillary Clinton. I mean, she will have been beaten. Well, yeah, this will be <laughs> you a know, it's, defeat. It, it's not it's, going to be good. Someone it, in chat says there are people who have lost their life savings betting for Hillary. Really? <laughs> good. Well, there we go. Why would you do that? Yeah. Why would you bet on Hillary Clinton? That that doesn't make any sense to me. That's a stupid why, bet. Why would you bet on not not just not just elections in general, but such a polarized election? Exactly. Right? That's what I mean. Yeah. Like, I like I people. Like, like you you <laughs> T. I know that T said that he could. He can't imagine a Trump presidency. But like, I I have been perfect. Like. From the end of the primary, I've been prepared for this because I looked at the polls. I looked at the polls, and it said that Trump could win in swing states because Hillary Clinton's independent appeal is non-existent. Someone in chat. She's unlikable. Uh, New Hampshire flipped again by 0.1%. Yeah, it did. It, uh, New Hampshire has flipped again. I just looked, and uh, he is currently down by like 100 votes. Yeah. It was earlier. He was up by like 15. So, well, if, if, if Pennsylvania or Michigan stay red, it won't even matter. He, he only needs one. Yeah. Vote. Someone uh, just tweeted me a report that some outlet is has called it in Pennsylvania for Trump, but I I, I need a link on that before I can know, and I need to like I need one of these uh, websites counting the electoral he, votes to add it. He's up by like fifty thousand and sixty thousand in Pennsylvania and Michigan, respectively. Yeah, <laughs> shit, shit's looking bleak for Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> looking dim. It, to me, it's like it's like what Vernacula said. It's thirty years of preparing to be president, only to lose to Donald fucking Trump. The whole fucking yeah. people <laughs> to get your pussy grabbed hard at the fucking election. <laughs> <laughs> of all the people, oh man. Uh, what was I going to tweet? Fill the pantsuit at Devon, and then put a picture of Trump. <laughs> The real problem with this with Hillary is that she led her campaign was like a scorched earth campaign. Like yeah. it was 
turn off as many fucking people in the process as possible who gives a shit. You know, we're going to retain the partisan Democratic vote. But it's like, okay, yeah, but that's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough people. You You've fucking been pissing people off for years, Hillary. <laughs> If, there, if there's one video on Twitter right now that sums up this entire fucking election day, it'd probably be that one. It looks like Ben left. Someone in chat says pantsuit is unstoppable. <laughs> Actually, it got very firmly stopped. <laughs> Trump deleted Hillary. Who is this uh, guy you tweeted out? It's Cossword. Who is this? Oh, that's the woman crying. Okay. <laughs> There's a tweet. I'm I feel sick to my stomach. To all my minority peeps out there, I'm praying for you. And the follow-up tweet to that is, "Can a brother get a green card?" <laughs> I... I just saw that Rouge V got verified. I don't understand how you can take away Milo's stick and 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 ban him, and then Rouge gets verified on Twitter. <laughs> Probably because Milo was a threat and Roosh isn't. Mm, probably, yeah. yeah. It's quite amusing that they verified Roosh, though. <laughs> Roosh says, this is one of the most memorable nights of my life. I I'm going to have to agree. Roosh tweets like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking thanks. Tell me how you feel, Roosh. Really Stop making fun of him just because he enjoyed the prom, all right? He he has <laughs> he can have a special moment. You don't need to dump on it. That's true, I don't. Someone in chat is saying that HuffPost is calling America sexist. <laughs> That's uh, fine. When, okay, when haven't they been anybody. doing that? Look at this. This is the front page of Huffington Post right now. Fright night, close, close, close. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> It's not. It's not close. Look at th that's close. Yeah, <laughs> that is not close at all. That looks like <laughs> you're getting punched in the face, Huffpo. I I can't stand the whole fucking. They're pointing out that the markets tank. It's like yes, because Trump uh, is fucking yeah. winning. <laughs> Trump is winning. That's why the markets are tanking because the corporate candidate is going to fucking lose. Yeah. Yeah. Markets almost always take a dive during situations like this. That's the thing I just don't get. don't understand why people don't get it yet. Well, I do think they'll probably react stronger to Clinton losing than winning. Yeah. They'll, go up, they'll definitely go up for sure if she, if she were to win. Oh, uh, in other news, Minnesota just elected the country's first Somali-American Muslim woman legislator. Oh, I, hear, I, hear, I hear there are a lot of Swedes in Minnesota. There's there are so many like caveats to that first Somali American Muslim woman legislator. You lost me. I got bored. Yeah, I literally <laughs> didn't care enough. <laughs> but I mean, isn't that like no, no, hang on. The, the reason I say that, geez, I mean that woman must be really fucking high on the oppression scale. Yes, foreign. He's like, he's like uh, the Muslim, ape. black Muslim, not woman white, from Somali, from Somalia. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. Wow. She's, wow. Yeah, she's got a full house. Well, look at look at this. Look at this. Looks like Donald Trump's claims of widespread vote rigging well, were lies. I you and try to keep you from they're, they're already trying to find any way they can possibly come up Amazing. with it. Yeah, it's it's just as if that wasn't a valid concern. Like how would that not yeah. be a valid yeah. given the Yeah, absolutely was a valid concern. This fucking Pennsylvania one has been carrying on like twice as long as Florida was. Yeah, it's been going on forever. Just slowly yeah, but taking it's, along. It's unbelievable. It's been pretty consistent in Trump's favor, but it could flip at any time. It, 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 wasn't, 
it was against him for quite a while, but ever since he pick, he overtook, I don't think it's bounced back, if I remember correctly. Um, New Hampshire. His New Hampshire's... Yeah, oh, New Hampshire's all over the place. Yeah. But Michigan has been consistently in his favor. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's pretty cl uh, pretty clear he'll take Michigan. Yeah, it's getting there. It keeps climbing in terms of his uh, percentage of uh, difference between he, Clinton. He he's at a uh, six fifty nine thousand right now in Michigan, and a little less than fifty thousand in Pennsylvania still. If you see, uh, if you see Jimmy Dore pop up on there, go back to the Young Turks cam because I want to see. Yeah. I want to see him. I like lay like, into him. Dude. I want him to fucking yeah. lay into them because I know that he, he's holding himself back because he's recorded some rants in the even the last few days where he's just been screaming, like, like you know, if you if you want to vote for Wall Street, if you want to vote for this and that and all this and war and all this, you're voting for Hillary Clinton, and you know you're voting for Hillary Clinton, um, because that's what she stands for, and understand oh. that that's what you're voting for. So, um, my girlfriend who lives on a liberal college campus just texted me and said, "That fuel when here yelling, that fuel when can't tell if fireworks or gunshots." <laughs> Wonderful. That's how I feel right now. I, I live across the street from my college. Oh shit! Edgy uh, crashed. Oh, he'll be back. He's back. He's back. I accidentally refreshed the wrong tab. <laughs> right, okay, I'm, I'm getting another cup of tea. I need uh, I need more fuel. How very British of you. <laughs> oh, Alaska. Running out of steam. What the fuck what? are you doing, Alaska? They don't have planes There's or cars. How do they get the votes in? They have to bring they only them. They have three people who live there. Come on. They just well, need Alaska. Anchorage. They just uh, need it. One fucking place. Alaska has been uh, hungry to secede for years now, and, and maybe they'd actually, maybe Trump would actually let them do it. I don't know. What the, what the fuck are they going to do? What, what do they have in terms of an economony? <laughs> I like Nothing. how the only thing Snoop Dogg tweeted was we just legalized marijuana in Cali, smoke weed every day. Yeah, there you go. That's all he had to say. That's about all he needs to say. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what really? What else is important about this election? I mean, come on. Like, not not too much, <laughs> from my perspective, anyway. Not not too much. Oh, it looks like. Uh... Looks like Pennsylvania flipped back to... Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. I was reading that wrong. I'm retarded. For a second, I thought it flipped back to Clinton. I was going to say... <laughs> if you flipped back to Clinton there at the last moment, that would have been really fucking... That would have been confused. a big district. How close it is, it almost looks like it's a guarantee, but then again, I'm fucking politically illiterate, so what do I know? Let's see what, uh, what the Guardian says. Though Clinton is no, Clinton's still behind around the same margin of forty nine thousand. Clinton's actually pretty up in New Hampshire now. She's up by four thousand. I think that's safe to say that New Hampshire is going to her. So that means I can stop paying attention to it. Apparently, Joe is currently uh, his, streaming. His... Who? Oh, angry Joe. Or yeah, Joe Angry Biden. Joe, Angry Joe, streaming apparently about the election. Oh, that's good. That's exactly who I want to watch talking about the fucking election. Yeah, I don't really. I, I don't think that he had that strong of feelings on it. He definitely doesn't strike me that much as a, you know, a political person. Did you see? Yeah, he's fucking Puerto Rican. Why does he care? <laughs> he for the Puerto Ricans. Did you see what their little Hillary cartoon just said? A man who can be provoked by their the Guardian is just. I think I pointed this out earlier, but it just triggers me how the the Trump one is just saying things like it's tremendous, magnificent, and then the Hillary one is just like criticisms of Trump. I what wouldn't worry too much about it. <laughs> it's not going to really matter much, dude. <laughs> too much longer. It just triggers me. You, but get you, bro. I, I want to see. Go ahead. I was going to say I want to see the little Hillary cartoon. Like as soon as she loses, I just want to see a little like. 
cartoon noose come down and she just grabs it. <laughs> <and they're> just <laughs> come out from the side and jab her away. But I was going to say, man, you better get used to it. If you think thing, shit's bad now, I mean, if Trump wins, you are going, like I said, I keep saying, fucking people are going to go ape shit. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. And they're gonna be I, go, I they're gonna be don't. doing everything. They're gonna be saying every bad thing that they can come up with, and they're gonna be making every little dig and oh, heavy yeah. fucking comments, and it's just gonna be so brutal. Yeah, absolutely. Can- Canada is currently trending right now in, in the United States. <laughs> Please. Oh. Everyone's. I can't. I can't stand that that line. Oh, mood of. If so and so wins, I'm moving to Canada. It's I'm like Canada. I, I can't stand people that fucking say that. It's like accept your fucking loss anything. and suck a cock and shut up. Uh, isn't it just a cookie cutter <laughs> standard joke? I, I wouldn't look too uh, much. Into you would be surprised. I, I mean, it goes well, beyond. It's, it's, it's just not. Insane. It's not far less popular, or far less original than the uh, the chivalry joke. I mean, isn't it? I, I don't know because I mean people people make it a point like to say like oh like it, it goes beyond just a simple phrase of it's a joke like because they're saying that in the context of screaming about how awful the other person is so it doesn't come off to me as a joke. I wouldn't look too far too far into it to be honest, but it I just read that John. Yadarula is saying he's. Uh, it's time to move from America now. I would not oppose it if he did that. <laughs> yeah, he, he can leave, or he yeah, can stay. At this the, point, he, all he, the leftists go to so the so. What are we gonna lose exactly? Yeah, I'm. I'm with T. Um, every, everyone who wanted Hillary to win, um, can just go. Ideally, I would say go to Canada because Europe needs to be unfucked as well. Um, but I really don't care about Canada. No, they're yeah. going to stay here and bitch. Canada's <laughs> new Sweden. doesn't matter. Yeah, good. Canada can go, they can go hang out with Trudeau. <laughs> the, the, the hand-standing hip prime minister. When you, when you, if you think about it, though, if, if Trump wins, Trudeau's probably going to put sanctions on us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, oh, Canada's no. not, Canada not going to do shit. <laughs> Canada's with not going to do shit. their economy and their failing dollar... Oh, oh no! Yeah, Trudeau. Trudeau will put sanctions on us, and then if we violate them, they'll come after us with their like seventeen aircraft. <laughs> and they're like 10, 10 active duty soldiers. However no, many, whatever. They have moose. Lots of moose. Oh, they depend on us way too much for them to ever fucking do anything. <laughs> I, I, God, I can't wait to go onto my Facebook and just look. I, just, I'm waiting until it's all done. Just so I can go and see what my family and friends are saying. It's gonna be a bloodbath. You know, it'd be hilarious if, like, tomorrow morning there was just like, like news coverage of like a rush from Mexico to the border. All of them trying to get in before the wall is built. <laughs> uh, this wow. is crazy. We have a meme for a president. What happened? Apparently, yeah, we the do. memes the happened. The Hill is reporting that Canada's immigration website crashed due to heavy traffic. That's actually That's not. No, the, the, no Hill, fucking way. the, the Hill is reporting this, though. This is. If it's a troll, then they trolled the Hill. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time they've trolled establishment journals. God. Visitors, visitors to the site were met with an error message. David Frum just said, uh, we may be living through the most successful Russian intelligence operation since the Rosenberg stole the A-bomb. <laughs> wow. David Frum. And he's, uh, he's a conservative. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to load the Canadian immigration site right now, and it's not loading. It says the site can't be reached. The police helicopters are flying around over my area now. It's because there's 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 hot men running the area grabbing pussies. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's exactly what it is. That that must be it. Of all the demographics that would be committing acts of violence right now, it's almost certainly white men. That's right. Yep. Honestly, I think I'm gonna go and celebrate and go and walk down to my local liquor store and go pick up something after all this is said and done. I ain't going. <laughs> out, I ain't going to no fucking liquor store. I ain't. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> That's I'm lucky. The li- 
from I'm, here to there, it's a it's a half a block, and everyone's Korean. They won't mind. No. <laughs> Koreans just don't care at this point. The the rooftop Koreans will uh. Will keep <laughs> rooftop <safe>. Koreans. <laughs> yeah, the rooftop <laughs> Koreans will save me. They saved us during the LA riots. They'll save us again. <laughs> That's another thing about the '90s that I'm really sad to come. I'm, I'm really sad to see come back. Um, is the fact that we now have uh, riots, like we did in the '90s, yeah. and it's really fucking sad to see that come back. Uh, you know, I would I would hope that we were kind of just past that. The difference now is that in the '90s they were rioting in LA, and while they were mostly rioting in black areas, uh, they were still rioting in like a pretty cosmopolitan area. But now, where they're rioting is they're just rioting in their own homes, like they're just right. breaking their own shit. Yes. Yeah. Someone they just gave... messaged me that Hillary's gonna speak soon. Uh, very soon. Oh, I don't know boy. if that's true. Really? Michigan is eighty-five percent reporting, and he's still two percent ahead. Uh, Pennsylvania is ninety eight percent reporting, and he's one percent ahead. Yeah, oh. yeah. He just needs I'd, one I'd be surprised state. if she came right out right after. If I mean, if she came out before and conceded, that's that's unbelievable. But if she comes out quick after this ends, I'll be surprised. I would figure that for her, it would be a real thing. Like I, it, it would be a, such a surprise that it would take a while. Let's switch to Jenk Cam. Jenk's just getting sweatier. <laughs> they actually have. That poor, that that's, poor man. That's cute. That's cute. They're, they're okay. side side that's, that's super side cute. Side. That's super cute. Now they're <laughs> all like, oh, you, you guys don't know the business end of this, right? Investors are like, oh, they got cute 30 second videos. <laughs> that's not going to cut. Okay. So, <laughs> no, I'll, I'll tell you who it's going to be in the media right here. Okay. It's going to be us. <laughs> look at all the young Turks here. Look at all the guys we've had here, right? And look at all the ones that come in. And and it started as just a ragtag group. It started in my living room, right? Now all of a sudden, oh, now we get the live story. Uh, you know, just uh, we've had John Cusack on, Jesse Ventura here, uh, Republicans, Democrats, everybody. They're coming, okay? You know why? This is Rebel Headquarters. So, and, and Rebel Headquarters. <laughs> love it. Love We're it. We're on the front lines. We're the yeah. largest online news source, but we're also the rebels. They, they, they actually believe that the, 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 the political wing that has been in charge for the better part of the last decade are the rebellion. <laughs> Against what, I don't know. They well, actually to, believe this. To be fair to them, I would say that it is only in the last few years that the Democratic Party has picked up the, the, uh, the torch of quote unquote progressivism and feminism and that. Like they have been saying like general feminist talking points, but I mean it's only been when it's only been within a certain time frame where they've been actively regurgitating the same points over and over and over again that would cater to progressives. But that's and, only because they found it politically expedient to do right, so. Right. That's but that's what I'm talking about is that the the progressives like Jank just said, like, no, we're the rebels. It's like no Na name me something where they aren't catering to your point of view other than corruption, which is an obvious. Yeah. And I, I mean, the, the five times you've ever talked to in the last, you know, couple of years about income inequality that isn't Fox based News on race. Is officially called the main. Is it for Hillary? For Hillary, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah Fox Maine. News is calling main for Hillary. I thought that was a four. Is Pennsylvania program. still at 98%? Yep. Yep. Trump's in the lead by uh, quite a few votes. Like 0.9%, something like that. Uh, yeah. No, an entire percent. Okay. And yeah, he's still up by 2% in uh, Michigan. God, I wish I was in college right now. This is why I'm a pessimist, because you're always either right or pleasantly surprised. <laughs> so. I, I'm, I am 
so fucking hyped to go to class just to see everybody <laughs> how fucking upset they are. Just how unhyped they're going to be. Well, like my, my I, I, I uh, in my second class uh, for the day tomorrow, it's everyone in my class except for me and one other person is Mexican. So you can imagine how happy they're going to be. <laughs> I'm going to go to a Mexican restaurant this Thursday. You should just I'll walk in and be like, "Can I see your papers, please?" I, I was going to say that I just remember that I'm working in uh, Buffalo tomorrow in a Latino part of uh, Buffalo, which isn't good. <laughs> I'm so sorry, man. Well, don't wear your Trump hat, Jesus. I actually, I actually own a Trump hat, but I, ne- I, I lost it when I uh, when I was evicted last year. It I was like one of my prized possessions. Just, just for the like symbolic memorabilia aspect, but yeah, <laughs> I guess now they'll, they'll be on, they'll be filling the shelves. And now they'll probably become. <laughs> oh, hey, layman! I think just woke up. For the love of God, Pennsylvania. Yeah, just, do it. just fucking call it already. End call it. Michigan. He's up by he's up by twenty thousand or almost a hundred thousand now in Michigan. Just call it. They're, they're, they're trying to find the votes for Hillary. They're, they're, yeah. they're uh, <laughs> looking under their desks. People are tweeting out uh, LGBT suicide hotlines now. Apparently, there's a bunch of Silicon Valley people on Twitter going ape shit. Onision is apparently on Suicide Watch. Why would you put him on Suicide Watch? It's no loss in that. I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that. We have to protect him from himself. <laughs> yeah. USA Today tweet. What? What does it say? <laughs> oh man. What does it say? Uh, it's just a picture of a little girl and an older white woman just like looking down like <laughs> with a fucking Hillary yeah, Clinton like bumper the, sticker over her chest. Because <laughs> she, she couldn't afford the Hillary yeah, Clinton shirt. I, mean, t-shirts. <laughs> I, I gotta tell you that I've been saying this for a while. You can't win the fucking vote just on dumpy white women, but whatever. Whatever. No one do. listens to you, and they really should at this point. You fucking, I wrote a paper on it, and they actually, I actually published it. Um, I'm actually, I'll have to, I'll double check actually, which I actually published a, a research paper in uh, two New York uh, political science journals to be reviewed on demographics. I'd have to look up which one it was, <clears throat> but um, I did my part. What can I say? Well done. No one listened. <laughs> Pennsylvania with ninety-seven percent reporting. They saw they by. saw a waspy white male name and they like, they threw it in the fucking garbage. Then he then was He's not nearly fucking diverse enough. What would he know? He know. You know it's gotten to be weird when my aging oh, hippie mother you, calls to celebrate Trump, right? <laughs> yeah, hey, how's it going, man? How you doing? Yeah, really good. Fucking knackered. It's six thirty in the morning, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I'm fucked up myself, and it's not even late here, so I can't imagine how tired you are. Pretty fucking exhausted, but this has been worth it. Just like with Brexit, man. Just like with Brexit. Totally fucking worth Dude, how is this real? Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Holy shit, Lady this is Gaga. like the weirdest here. 2016 is actually... She's, with who? <laughs> She's hanging out with D-Ray. Oh, good. I can imagine how <laughs> party must be. Can we listen? <laughs> D Ray is in that Black Lives Matter guy. Yeah, yeah. I can only. Oh shit! Alaska me. finally got their shit together. There's the pick in the chat. Is it over? No. <laughs> oh god. Finally. Oh god! I wonder what Cher is saying. <laughs> that fucking incoherent fucking mummy of a human being. I bet Cher's Twitter feed is brilliant. Yeah, let's go and just go and look. The guy that that owns Gab is going crazy on Twitter. The world will never be the same. I feel sad for the young. (laughs) We'll never be more than the toilet. I've used as a symbol for him. You can't polish a turd. Jesus. Apparently, apparently, Movie Bob is running a Twitter stream or a Twitch stream, and he's been ranting about the election the whole time. It's supposed to be pretty good. Kind of sad I missed that. 
Cher is blaming Ben Johnson for bringing down the world. Yeah, there'll be a long pause and then just a bang, and then you'll know. (laughs) 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 The thing is, Trump really isn't nearly as bad as they make out, and it's they've done all this to themselves. Yes. Like fucking it, it's like talking him up to be like the new Hitler. It's like he's not really that bad, you dummies. He was a Democrat for ages, wasn't he? Yeah, and he's yeah. he's like, and one of the good things about him compared to the other, uh, you know, Republican nominees to some extent is that he's not religious. Yeah, he's clearly not religious. Yeah, he clearly and, doesn't give a fuck, does he? And in this country, that's something palatable for at least my end of the left. We can work with that. Yeah. So, you know, it, it's not all bad, but it, it's obviously not good. But I mean, the alternative is alternative is not anything good either. So, you know, you got to look to hey, what you can work with. They just got the best Bible. He's got the best Bible. He yeah, cleared the, that up. Yeah, the, he knows all the verses. His Bible is tremendous. <laughs> <laughs> so is Jefferson's. He's read it bigly. <laughs> uh, I love the God Emperor that? Trump and in, inventing new words for the next four years. Leave Devin alone, Sargon. I would like oh, to hear dude, all of his legislation that he's I am passing just... is just getting... <laughs> If you're if you're really a friend, you would buy him a toupee, all right? I would. I I, I will buy him head wax. <laughs> Trump brand head wax. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll buy him a Trump wig. Fucking hell! Why have they called Pennsylvania? I know it's it's at ninety nine percent now. Oh my fucking god! Release me from this mortal sure. coil! No, just I'm make it fucking, fucking end. <laughs> It's a ninety-nine percent. Surely he can't. She or she can't. No, <laughs> no it's it's yeah. it's got to be over in Pennsylvania yeah. at this point. It's got to be over. Michigan's got to be over. Like, I don't know but, why they're still holding on. Yeah, oh, these next few days are going to be so fucked up and so many. Yes, months. it's going to. And, be and I'm off for the rest of the week. I can just. Like, <laughs> months, dude. But Brexit I'm, is I'm still going, 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 going on here. Family. It's going to be months. It's gonna be. I, I'm watching family members spurg out at like fucking four o'clock in the in the morning. Yeah, I, me too. I'm, I'm getting texts. <laughs> like, why are you like this, dude? It's not that bad. And someone was really furious. My uncle's from South Carolina, and that state went back and forth. And he's a strong Democrat. Then he moved to Florida, and both those fucking states lost. I can't imagine why you would really care. I, I mean, but I'm, it's just kind of me with like the, the, you know, the principles and not giving a shit about the party and all that outside of, you know, self interest and getting what I want in terms of principles. I don't really see w- like what, what is there to be so fucking upset about that you did not, you know, enact yourself? You're, you're the person that built up the guy to be this fucking boogeyman and you're flipping the fuck that. out that he can win. It's like, yeah, no, just that. What did you lose? Clinton is a terrible candidate. What the fuck is she going to do? They lost in their own head. That's the worst defeat they could have possibly suffered. It's a blow to their egos. I suppose. Like, I, I just I don't understand why people are out. Like, I just, you know, in the whole boogeyman aspect, yes, I can understand that to some degree because they think, like, this guy is going to kill Muslims or something, which we're already doing in the Middle East, which what, whatever. It's not like they wouldn't continue with Hillary Clinton, so whatever. But it's like, <clears throat> with Clinton, w- really, I mean, obviously, I'm kind of begging the question, I have been for a while, but what, what is it? What, what is the it? So I don't get it. You don't, you're telling me you don't believe Trump's plan is to eradicate all of the black people and deport all of the brown people? Is that what you're saying? Out, you don't outside, outside of that, outside of that, like, let's just say that's true. Okay, what is it about Hillary Clinton that people sit there and go, you know what? I like Hillary Clinton. It's like, okay, wh- how? <laughs> what? What about her? Yeah. I just don't like, I can, like. If you are an illiberal person, if you are an authoritarian illiberal person, and you say, you know what? I like the fact that she just loves to ban shit and to fantasize about banning shit. That's why I like her. Then, then maybe I get it. But I like, I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm out of touch with the average. Clinton supporting dipshit. That, that's, Nevada that, that's just legalized like, recreational marijuana. It's, uh, really? That's, that's the third there state. There you go. There's another one. Not Hagbard. 
joined us. Sorry, is, is Trump's yes, presidency is. turning out to be the most amazing thing even before he's been elected? Well, there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of weed be being uh, legalized. Which well, bad, uh, bad for alcohol winning. And I mean, here's here's yeah. the here's the interesting thing is that I I believe Trump said at one point that he thinks that should be up to the states. So he's yeah. probably not. Yeah. 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 I was gonna say if well, you're gonna if you're gonna uh, watch uh, anyone um, get massacred. Watch the uh, the stock market for the alcohol industry. They're about to fucking take a shit. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> you yeah, put a link in the uh, chat. Actually, Nevada's yeah. actually been very cool about it. Um, they'll let you travel there as long as you can show a medical marijuana card. They'll let you travel with marijuana in Nevada because they don't want to lose the business. If there's some old fuck that'll show up and, and crank a lever for six hours, they don't want to lose that business just because that person demands to have their medical marijuana card. So Nevada was almost a guarantee for that going into this. New York is still a joke. I, I can't I, wait until Trump and Trudeau have to have a, a press conference or a meeting. <laughs> uh, it would just be amazing? cringeworthy because of him. I mean, he would just be there being the fucking professional beta, and yeah. it's just it's awful either way. Trump will Although it would be fun to see like Trump fuck with him. That would be great if Trump yeah. started fucking with him. Oh man, that would be great. Trump is going to be um, Trump is going to be the Putin to to Trudeau's Merkel. <laughs> he needs to to look up some old videos of George W. Bush and try to get on that banter. Start start calling people by nicknames. Start doing that kind of <laughs> shit. Then it'll be, then it'll actually become likable. You'll see his, his unfavorables actually go down and him become actually more favorable. <laughs> he's gotta get that banter going. See, we got Except with women, I think he's fucked. We have, we have two <laughs> states that could go to Hillary. We have four states right now that are leaning towards Trump. Oh, I see Alaska started reporting finally. Yeah. Yeah, I, I finally. Saw that before. It's it took them it literally took them until like fucking one in the morning. <laughs> yep. Oh this my is, God, Pennsylvania! This is insane. I, I am, I'm probably not going to sleep tonight, to be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to sleep. Like I'm at that fucking point. I hope I sleep it's tonight. Be I'm going to go to fucking night. work. I am just completely. I'm going to lock my door so people don't break in to kill me for being white, and I'm going to sleep like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Palin's on TV. She's so fucking happy. Oh, don't I bet she's, uh, she's always happy. She's oblivious she and completely devoid. She has of that same look on her face that Me, says she also doesn't really understand what's going on. Yeah, so, put up that tweet. That uh, hang, hang on, hang on. Get back on the TYT uh, thing. Uh, apparently, the uh, things, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, where you just—it's a fascinating thing, and it's a bit, the right can do it, the left can't do it. The the left just doesn't seem to have that separation from percent when they say it, it's the funniest thing when they twist something around right when religious freedom becomes persecution because we all know that's what jesus was about right just you know but, but that's how they do it and so it's talking about uh, mad at them for that i get i'm like you i get mad for the democrats why can't you do that you mean to tell me you're not smart enough to do the same manipulation that the Republicans. Good God. You, they do it over and over, and you're not smart enough to, to do the same thing. What what do you what's wrong with you? They've learned yeah. nothing. It's, and I think I've solved the riddle, which is that they it's not because like Democrats are by nature. So let's just talk about that for those of you who haven't heard this. Like some of the bullshit excuses that people throw out is oh no, progressives are are naturally <laughs> 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 When he fucking broke the backs of all the people uh, that were, they, they called him a traitor to his class. Is this is this asshole actually comparing their platform to FDR's platform? <laughs> yeah, it's it, they love to yes. do it, but it's just not. It's like that they're missing the economic populism, and the problem is, is that like the the what the 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 black guy was saying is not entirely wrong, but he's coming from it from a perspective where it's like, well, you're you're not actually explaining. You know, like if you are going to make a point about, I think he was talking about uh, anti-discrimination laws. If you want to talk about it, what you have to do is explain the issue. And if you are going to take a principle stand, make a principle stand. But also, you have to <laughs> explain stuff like social cohesion and other aspects to it that you can defend it and say why it's good for society. You can't just go, 
well, you're a bigot. Okay, that's not a fucking argument. That's not how you explain why you're in favor of something. And so he's not entirely he's wrong dancing. about... It's how you shame people into just being silent. Though. Right, and that's their default on fucking everything. And it's, and it's <laughs> the one tool they used, and it's gone now. It's failing. And yeah. rather than turn around and say, okay, well, let's actually sit back and actually come up with a coherent reason of why we're in favor of something. Because I understand, like, there is a debate on, uh, like, the, the, you know, the whole gay, uh, the gays getting a cake in a baker shop and all that shit. Like, there is an argument to be had there. And I do think there's a genuine argument for, for both sides. But you actually have to have the argument. You can't just say that the other person in the conversation is a fucking homophobe or a bigot or fucking whatever. The minute you go down that road, you've lost the fucking argument now. Because this election has happened. But the problem is, are the progressives going to be able to understand that? No, they're not. Suicide prevention lines are busy. People are on the streets crying. Lives are being ruined and these privileged rich white boys are laughing. <laughs> I've seen a lot of people saying Florida's taken. Did they call Florida? Yeah, Florida's been taken. Yeah, they called Florida a while ago. Yeah, Florida okay. got called quite a while ago. Yeah. I saw a tweet of some, I don't know how old she is. Uh, which said, uh, me in class tomorrow, couldn't do my homework, too busy praying for America's future. Yeah, I saw that, that oh. tweet. Has Trey Melvin sure been genocided yet? yet? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. The, the, this is like literally what he thinks is going on. So, Well, it could always happen, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Back to the plantations, Trey. That's right. Donald Trump's president now. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm still. I mean, you guys are seriously not in agreement that his plan is to kill all the black people and deport all the brown people. Like what? Well, I mean, that's was... not what we're we're not saying that. Okay, that we're not saying it. That's how this yeah, goes. Just, just like Hitler never specifically said what to do with the Jews, right? You just <laughs> well, you imply it. Well, maybe that did happen. Maybe it didn't. Exactly. <laughs> maybe you know, your chance to shine. That's why we call it the hollow hoax. <laughs> No, we don't call it nothing. What would you call it? It didn't happen, right? I mean, what? Exactly. Oh, well, no, nothing. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Just a lot of people died. That's all I know. And I'm just, <laughs> and I'm just saying that if it were to happen, if it were to happen in the U.S. of A. to a, you know a lot of a lot of colors, I'm I'm just saying it happens. So it was that typhoid wind. That's what you're saying. It, it just happens. It, it, it's something that happens every day. You just go to the streets of Chicago. You see black men killing each other. And who's to say that that's not what happened? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, mean the, you mean the melanin? Jew hard Jew cry. It's a really bad problem, guys. That's what that Jew is. Jew Jew I, I fucking love this. Listen to this. Republicans must be remembered as the party that nominated Trump, held his convention, endorsed him, and... PA just, PJ, PA just came in. PA just came in. Pennsylvania just came in. It's yeah. over. Trump? Yes. It's so it's over. It. It's fucking over. Oh, over. God. Fox News oh, is lying. It's fucking me. over. Oh, Say shit. it with me, folks. President Donald J. Trump. <laughs> it's, it's, it is over. It is over. I can't confirm. It is fucking wow. over. Wow. Oh, my God. It's done, guys. I need to turn the news on now. And then he had a start to Trump commits <laughs> Oh my god, it's on the news. Here. <laughs> we are back just tweeting oh, Devin Tracy. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Devin. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm seeing on the Guardian he's still a 264. Yeah, no, but even with that, it's over. He's yeah. going to win Alaska. It's over. Yeah, it's a given, though. After these last few, it's done. Yeah. That was the last fight. Yeah, that was the only one he needed to win was Pennsylvania. Yeah. He didn't need anything other it. than Pennsylvania at yeah. that point. So he can he can lose yeah. literally everything but like Alaska and uh, Arizona, which he's going to yeah. win anyway. And the chance yeah. of it's over. losing Alaska and Arizona is laughably low. It is, yeah. it is live. Oh, is God, it's frozen for me. It's yeah. literally over right now. We, the, it the, is the actual okay. internet is fucking President-elect Trump. President-elect Trump. That's where we're <laughs> we at did right it. fucking now. We did what, it. What's the victory party looking we, like? We did it, really. <laughs> the meme magic is real. Praise yeah, Ken. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Hillary. Yeah, Clinton. I can't wait to go look at my Facebook feed. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's going to be <laughs> unbelievable I'm going to wait tomorrow. until tomorrow. 
This this Me you're too. gonna oh, see so going. many salty motherfuckers just all over this earth. Yeah. Uh, no. God, well, if, he, just... if, he, uh, if he takes Pennsylvania as well as Arizona and Alaska and just gets that extra salt in the wound, ooh. That'd be awesome on that. <laughs> just a sweep. Well, the Michigan, Michigan would be a good one for him to win. That would really just seal. I mean, it's already over, but I mean, that would be the thing where it's like it puts him up above like a really good percentage point of uh, electoral votes to where it's like <laughs> now, like every vote past this point is embarrassing towards Clinton. Yeah, basically. <laughs> no, no, seriously, it is. No, uh, you guys were talking earlier, right after I hopped off last time. This is going to ruin her career. This yeah. is it. Good. He fuck her. I think we done it. Go now. away forever. Never fucking come back. I yeah, never want to see. Her. I never want to hear her name. I never want to see her fucking face. I never yeah, want to hear anything about her down. fucking ass for the rest so of my life. You're done. You can never face this down ever. You got beat by a reality show star. Yeah, but fuck, man. I, I, if I were her, I'd be worried about fucking being prosecuted for something now. You know, I'd be yeah, worried about I, like that, legal action that might follow from this. Oh, that 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 would just be. So wait, when's the? We're waiting for the concession speech now, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. I think Trump's going to come out first. She's on the phone with Obama, calling yeah. for that pardon now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Barack, Mary, get it going. Get that fucking shit signed now. Yeah, she, yeah, she's uh, she's begging. Obongo, she's begging, help me! Yeah, she's begging to be indicted so they can so they can pardon her. <laughs> Call the FBI, indict oh me now! Oh my god! <laughs> indict if me you, now! I can't god, wait. If you would have told me this morning that I, I'd be going to bed with Donald Trump as the next president of the United States of America, oh, I would have told you Turks. you were fucking. You gotta hear the Young Turks. Yeah. Yeah, Jimmy Dore's talking. And as in up for the people, and he didn't. We did quantitative easing, four trillion dollars worth. We did. Uh, we did tarp. You know, what we didn't do a job program. You know, what we did uh, do okay. by Wall Street. We let the cops crack their heads. That's what we did. You know what we did when the when they tried to take the unions away from the teachers in Wisconsin? Barack Obama let it happen. He didn't put on a soft shoe. He wouldn't even talk about it. So this is the result of that. This is when the country came to a turning point and we failed to turn. Well, now we're at another turning point. Are we going to turn? I think we are this time. Okay. Um, look, I I'm being super harsh on Obama tonight. I but I got the honor. Okay. If you don't understand what uh, the problem is, you're never going to be able to fix it. So when uh, there was the labor problems in Wisconsin, when he was a candidate, Obama said he had enough sense at least as a smarter politician to pretend to be progressive when he was running for office. He said, if they're ever going to take away uh, workers' rights, I'm going to put on my walking shoes and I'm going to join the picket line. But that's exactly what they did in Wisconsin. Almost word for word, based on his quote, where was your walking shoes? There were no walking shoes to be seen. Never went to Wisconsin, never had their backs. Occupy Wall Street. Like mainstream media was like, oh, don't be ridiculous. The president's showing up at Occupy. But why not? He should have showed up at Occupy Wall Street. He should have showed up at Zakati and say, you know, I don't know if this media folks heard you, but I heard you. Okay, now that doesn't mean that he agrees with everything Occupy Wall Street says, and Fox News will say that. You know what? You'll say something else because you're the president and you have a large mic, right? And then you'll fight. But Obama doesn't like the fight. So he wasn't going to go to Zakati Park and say, hey, you guys are right about income inequality. Can you imagine how powerful that speech would have been? You remember at Zuccotti Park, uh, they did the, it was it called the people's microphone or whatever, yes. right? And so what, a person said something and everybody else right, says We don't need to listen to Grandpa Chank. Yeah. No, no. Reminisce um, about fucking... The joy from, I worked with the Occupy movement. That was a worthless fucking tool. That was the most backwards thing I think I'd ever seen a group the of The Trump people, people know it's over. Look at them. Yeah, yeah President Trump's There's, already climbing to the They're already celebrating. Oh my God. Okay. They'd be retarded not to celebrate already. It's over. That's what I mean. It's they. They must have gotten the word. They're someone probably uh, got on the mic and said it's fucking over, bro. Wow, yeah. Trump wins. Trump is the first Republican candidate to win in Pennsylvania since 1988. I didn't know that. Yep. Wow. Since my Griffix, birth year. Griffix, you uh, you sound a little disappointed. And my family's from Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the Hillary cam. I've been up all night. <laughs> 
Hillary Cam looks exactly like what you'd have thought it would have. Oh, man. Are they leaving? Look at how little people are there. <laughs> Look at how few people are still there. <laughs> you know, what I, I think there's going to be... At the moment, anyway? Oh, they I have um... be like two main reactions to this. I think the left is going to see this as evidence of their ideology being more relevant than ever because it wasn't properly imp- implemented and now America is going to be destroyed. And the right is going to see this as the confirmation that the left's ideology is irrelevant. Yeah, you mean the you mean the extreme left is going to say the same thing they've always said that communism just wasn't applied right this time. I mean, it's the same argument we've had a hundred <laughs> times. No, it doesn't. Fall. You're not worried. This isn't working. You're 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 doing it wrong. Whatever you think you're doing is failing. But 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 my perfect ideal socialism that hasn't been tried. My my point Real would be to say that they're, they're not even talking about that. Like. I, I don't really see a lot of, of these kind of people talking about I mean there are people that are talking about like communism and that kind of thing, but I mean in large part what these people are talking about and arguing from is just talking about collectivism. That yeah, to me is general part progressive thing. nonsense. They're, they're, they're not socialism, talking but... about economics in my opinion. If it is, it's from a position of race or gender. Yeah, it's primarily all culture. There's really no economic he, uh, hey, Edgy, keep, keep an eye, bro, on the uh, the Clinton cam just in case she comes out, bro. We do not want to miss that fucking concession speech. It looks like she might be soon. <laughs> uh, so He's still know. playing that track. What's with the fucking rock? Like the insane... Yeah, me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> like, like death metal. So do you guys think Clinton's going to try and seek asylum in Russia? <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Why? She wouldn't have. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking funny. Oh my god. No, I think in worst case scenario, she's gonna get pardoned by the president. I think that's gonna be on his way out if there's an even an indictment. I think they actually might have been waiting to see what the turnout would be before they actually went through with it. Oh, I never even thought of that Hillary Clinton going into asylum because she gets indicted for something. That's hysterical. Donald Trump just definitely got Alaska. Well, yeah, I didn't know that was going to happen. That was a given. Yeah, I, it, it, is, it is fucking it's over. over. Yeah, as soon as Pennsylvania Every fell. Night. Also. Hopefully on the Hillary cam, they stop playing that music when she actually does come out. And starts talking, no one can hear us. Yeah. I, 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 I'm officially starting to lose those friends over uh, the Trump thing. <laughs> good. <laughs> just tell him to get some sleep. Get up and yeah. consider. I, I, just, I, 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 I jumped into our, our Facebook chat and I said, I called it. I, I, my history in politics has worked out. I knew it. And they just immediately just said, fuck you and left. I was like, okay. Yeah. If, if I had to tomorrow, dude. Uh, if I had to put money on it, I would not have. Uh, I would not have lost, based on the <laughs> prediction that I made. <clears throat> no. I bet it with a family. I just won one hundred bucks. Really? Wow! Yeah. There you go. I wonder if I'm, I'm glad I did. I was going to put money on Clinton, but some told me not to. <laughs> and with betting, I, I tend to be right. He's going to win the popular <laughs> vote too good i it, that's a good thing everyone here everyone that's sane should want trump now that he's won electorally and there's no question everyone should want him to win the popular vote because that's going to be the thing that if clinton wins you will see the the quote unquote left just go fucking insane i mean it'll be it'll be like the like i, I don't even know the the 2000 election uh, you know, I think of an apocalyptic apocalyptic movie. That would be the equivalent of the 2000 election. Like they would go fucking insanely ballistic. It's just, it's something best avoided. <laughs> is that is that that Snoop Dogg tweet? <laughs> well, oh no! Oh, it's Alex Jones beheading fucking Jank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Andrew, I put love that, that, put that tweet up. <laughs> Um, got so many 
tabs and windows open. I can't remember which one has the hangout. Here we go. I, I, I gotta go find the link of him of Alex Jones just grunting for forty five seconds. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine what his Infowars show is gonna be like? Oh my god, it, it, <laughs> he's gonna be going insane. Oh, oh yeah, you've got, you've got to turn into that. Oh, Whenever he finally starts that up, man, that's going to be worth it. Are you going to make a video, Sargon, to like rub it in? I am. That's for damn sure. How, how can I resist? Well, is he going to be specifically <laughs> towards this? I've seen through all of your lies, Barack Obama, you wicked, wicked devil! <laughs> 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 Oh my god. He's gonna be the exact opposite tomorrow. Oh, he's he's just how, gonna be How does he doing, feel he? that he's no longer anti establishment? Mm. <laughs> he's not pro establishment. I don't think he'll ever anti establishment that. part of the establishment. Well, I mean, here's the thing is that your typical Republican senator and congressman doesn't really like Trump. So Yeah, yeah. True. still still going to be uh, sort of yeah. a conflict. Trump is going to be the president, so he's going to be the new establishment. I can't believe they're still sitting on Ohio on um, Arizona. What the what the fuck are they waiting on? Yeah, I what I've been thinking Jones is that's in the mainstream media. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Question is going to be: What are the mainstream media going to be doing fucking tomorrow? Crying, shitting bricks. I feel like everybody who's been shilling hella hard for Hillary is going to come out and be like, see, I was never in support of her to begin with. We should have had yeah. Bernie. And I don't think so. I well, don't think so. People who are like, oh, I, should have I think they're going to try to hit themselves from this failure. Well, I, I, had, uh, I had NBC on briefly a little while ago, and um, Lester Holt was saying something about, uh, oh, see, this is, this is a reflection of the the anger of the people and their disappointment with the establishment. It's like, okay, now you're saying this, now that you can't deny anymore <laughs> yeah. that, that this is what's happening. You, you fought it for the last 16 months, and now that it's undeniable, you'll finally admit that. Shit, Trump's what's going, going on Michigan in Hillary's camp? And there is a, Trump's going to take... More death metal, probably. Well, yeah, I mean, it's... besides the death metal, they're like rocking and shit. What the fuck is this? Yes, they're wiggling. They don't know they've lost yet. Oh my god, what's that? Is that like crazy German death metal? What the fuck is this? It's like a fucking Nazi rally or something going on over there. It sounds like they're... The, uh, it's, Trump, like if, it's, it's like if Hitler lost. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Jennifer Griffin at the Clinton camp uh, to get uh, the latest there. Jennifer? Well, Brett, we just learned that John Podesta, campaign chairman uh, for Hillary Clinton, will be taking the stage shortly. He's on his way over here to the Javits Center. It's not clear at this point in time whether Hillary Clinton herself uh, will be making her way over to the Javits Center tonight. Uh, what we've noticed uh, is there what? are a few more people streaming in. They've put on the music that we've come to expect from the campaign. Uh, what we've heard on the campaign trail for months. A little bit uh, more upbeat atmosphere, but it may, uh, but the looks on people's faces still very glum. Uh, we've seen a number of people in tears, and it's hard to know exactly what John Podesta is going to say, but that's what we can report at this moment. Okay, Jennifer, thank Wait, you. Wait, so, so Jennifer, so you're suggesting then that John Podesta is coming over there. He may speak, and we may not hear from Hillary Clinton at all tonight. Well, there is certainly that possibility at this point, Megan. Um, all we know at this point is that John Podesta wow. is making Hillary. That would be, gonna <laughs> pay his that would be insane if she didn't do a concession speech. She's not going to say anything oh, hey, tonight. Like, yeah. They're, they're going to find her dead in a hotel room. Would that be like a foot? Matt, it happened. Is she going to get barbelled? <laughs> she's going to barbell herself. No, she's Saudi Arabia. She's going to barbell gonna her. Justice Scalia herself. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> She's going to be the, the random victim of uh, a tragic mugging at DNC headquarters. And she will still have all of her jewelry. I think the young Turks have gone off to shoot themselves. I was watching them earlier. It was, uh, it was glorious. I didn't give a shit about any other coverage. I just wanted to see Chank cry. 
Did he actually cry or was he just really? I crazy? heard he cried. I got on there and Anna was bitching about white people, and then the other black guy was bitching about white people, <laughs> and then I'm just like, "Fuck you! Who cares? Like you were just ex- making it a worse problem." They're continuing to rock on Hillary Cam. They're like rocking back and forth like a fucking church choir or a cult. Was it? Well, uh, yeah, her Donald home. Trump is well, like Joe is popular. Yeah, it's just, you gotta get the small world song and start playing it. Yeah. <laughs> They're singing something. Are they singing like We Will Persevere? Music. <laughs> what is that? Who made the playlist yes, for this event? the fucking music. Well, I think it's someone just streaming their uh, yeah, their cable box or something. Because this is a yeah. C-span. I mean, C-span usually doesn't play. Is the only maybe this is just Hillary's I- music iPod. Who knows? <laughs> I think yeah, it's it- a muted stream, and the guys just playing music or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. While well, he's waiting for people to actually come out to start talking. But yeah, it, it's insane. Like, obviously, like the the votes are not all in yet in terms of the electoral college, and so it's not quote unquote technically over. Although it Holy is. Holy shit! Over. I but, just Google, I just um, searched Twitter for riots, and there's people already saying that people on their campus are rioting. At Pixar, it didn't happen. Like, like where? Well, let's see, let's see, University of Oregon name specifically. <laughs> Hold on, let me check. <laughs> I do live but, here, after all. Uh, Google isn't showing Wisconsin as called yet. Yeah, Google's Google's holding out. Hmm. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. The, the, it would be insane if 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 the uh, votes come in, and John Podesta of all fucking people shows up and set, gives some sort of speech and then walks away as a concession. But, like, I can't imagine that Hillary Clinton is going to walk away and not do a concession speech like that. I don't think she's going to concede. I think she's going to contest because both parties uh, bulked up on lawyers the other day prepping for this sort of thing, right? And we do know that there were moments uh, today and a few days ago where Trump supporters were actually charged with voter fraud. And so if enough of an argument can be made, we're going to go right back into the 2000 election. Oh, Jesus uh, Christ. That shit again. They just have to pick a point of contention and focus on that. And I think um, – I, I don't even know top of my head who was hit, uh, but probably it's going to be Pennsylvania if I had to guess. Yeah, yeah. and it's close. I'm surprised vote. they wouldn't go after Florida too considering the vote. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, my sister texted me earlier about Florida upset at all the Gary Johnson voters. I'm like, you have no idea which way they would have gone. It's you fucking two percent. Relax. Yeah, I'm glad. I do love that they just assume that they would have gone right. Who knows? I, don't think, I think Gary Johnson represents about a fifty-fifty split. A lot of centrists went for him. I love how people kept saying that Hillary Clinton was center. Right, like I kept noticing yeah. that coming into this, I'm just like, shut the fuck up. You don't know what center she, is. She, she, she was center when she talked to certain people. She was a progressive when she talked to other people because she's a fucking, chame- she's a chameleon. But I just say that in reality, she policy. is nowhere near center. If you go by her policy, not just what she claims to believe, you go by her policy. She is a Republican. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't mean like she's a principled conservative or she is conservative or whatever else. I'm just if you go by our record, she's a Republican. It's I like if you go by what she says, then yeah, maybe you could say like at best center left. At best, if you go by what she says on issues that she has no stake in, and it's typically a liberal like. You know, oh, look, we need to go after the gun industry. It's like okay, well, that's an illiberal position. Great. It's video games all over again. Bob Chibnall is such a drama queen. Art, science, music, literature, media, all of the institutions that give society its value were against this and lost. Yeah, coincidentally, all places invested with SJWs too. 
just since we're on the subject. <laughs> uh, but, but, but Sargon, correlation isn't causation. <laughs> Here, guys, I found, I found, I found the video evidence of riots. Yeah, well, it's not really a riot, but just protest. Cool. Donald Trump. Which will eventually turn into riots. Here, let's. Uh, let's oh wow! No. There's a lot of them. Yeah, it's like they saw a clown on campus or something. Fuck Donald Trump! Yeah, that will do. That'll stop him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I can I can definitely see that turning into riots. <laughs> I can definitely see that turning into fucking riots. Why Eugene, are you like that who are they gonna fight uh, then? I, I, I want to hear this do? concession speech wait, wait, before wait, I go pause, and get my drink. Pause, from... pause. Where is this? That University of Oregon. Well, I don't know if this one is University of Oregon. Oh, okay. It's from a different. But I have John's here. Uh, the person who posted it says UC Santa Cruz. Oh, oh, oh okay. That makes a lot more sense. Those guys yeah. are fucking crazy there. No, just give you an idea. Oh, about UC Santa Cruz. Oh, there, there's a place on campus where students will literally camp during their four years. It's a wooded campground that students yeah. will live on instead of dorms. Like, that's how to the earth they are. Weird. Yeah. Same. This, this tears <laughs> folder I have uh, is getting pretty big. Feed me more tears. This folder needs to be bigger. I'm getting a lot of WWE things sent my way for uh, Donald Trump. <laughs> oh yeah, dude! Donald Trump is going to be a WWE lot Hall of fame, and he's in the White House. There's going to be a lot of fucking memes. <laughs> oh god, it's. I wonder if he'll actually go Bobby back on the WWE. Crazy. He's been off for a very long time. He should. He, he be should. Crazy. He is friends they, with they Richard, actually have uh, the fucking president. <laughs> on it. That'd be crazy. <laughs> All right, you I want to see Vince McMahon is hit too. I want to see Vince McMahon be a part of uh, Donald Trump's cabinet. That'd be crazy. I I heard someone earlier saying that he was gonna hire Nigel Farage to be like you know some sort of advisor, and then send him as an ambassador to the EU. Wow, that'd be that, hilarious! Come on, that's intense. That would, that would be pretty funny. I doubt it's true, but fucking hell, that'd be funny. That would be funny, but I I believe that he didn't aspire any political uh, political yeah, career. I know, I know. It's probably horseshit. I think 2016 has given enough saga. <laughs> Something just came in. Uh, Me magic is just all too real, man. Oh, yeah? Of course not. What do you think that was all about? Who cares? I, uh, how it works. I, I, really, I really do think Brexit helped inspire this at least to some degree. It, it, oh, must have had it did because it, it was a large part of the rhetoric on both sides. It was, look at all these Brexiters, they're just fucking upset and they're angry and they're racist. And it was the people on the right saying, look at the look, look at fucking Brexit. They rose up against the fucking establishment and they kicked it in the dick. Now we, it's our turn. We can do it. Yeah, kind of like reflame some it, of the, it, some people's faith in democracy. Honestly, I would, I would say that it'd probably be uh, much less likely for Trump to have won if Brexit had failed. I probably yeah. agree with well, that. Well, obviously, that Brexit is inspired to recon peace to the Anglosphere. I mean, I think that, that's a given, right? Next next is going to be uh, Australia will rejoin, and then, yeah. then we got to convince Cut Canada to get involved, and we're good. I don't know. Australia is kind of get rid of those. Is, uh, yeah, is, they, can, they, they don't have an ozone layer. Fuck them. Is <laughs> Beginning of a new British Empire, possibly. <laughs> hey, the world could do worse. All right. <laughs> God, is I'm gonna fucking die if Clinton doesn't come out to give her own concession speech. That She's would be too insane. busy having a fucking seizure. Yeah, that would be. She's not prepare one. Hey, well, we can all agree that on the bright side, pot is now legal in California, or it's been voted in as legalized. So three states, Nevada too. Nevada, three awesome. states, awesome. Did Florida's make it or not? Uh, I know Arkansas Probably. was one of them. Yeah, Le legalize it. It's not like fucking people here in California. Oh, John Podesta, all John Podesta. Anyway, oh, here it is. Here he is. Oh, Give the concession. Oh, he's coming oh, to turn over his emails. Listen to me. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, head home. You should get some sleep. We'll have more to say tomorrow. Oh, he's not talking. I want you to know. I want every person in. 
this hall to know, and I want every person across the country who supported Hillary to know that your voices and your enthusiasm mean so much to her and to Tim and to all of us. We are so proud of you. And we are so proud of her. She's done an amazing job, and she's not done yet. So thank you for being with her. She has always been with you. I have to say this tonight. Good night. We will be back. We'll have more to say. Let's get those votes counted, and let's bring this home. Thank you so much for all of you have done. We are all in all of our hearts. Thank you. Well, I guess uh, no concessions, no speech here in the morning. He doesn't know it's over yet. Oh, so that's, uh, that's, that's this is why this is when it's going to get legal. That's what's going to happen next. Is the lawyers are going to come out? Well, I mean, we still we still don't have the the tally in. I mean, yes, D Trump has won, but we it's still not in. The votes are not in yet. Yeah, Hillary Fox, wins by a recount. Trump's being go done in New Hampshire, I think. Yeah, Fox. Um, Fox still. Yeah, hasn't. we we kind of assumed that he was going to lose New Hampshire. Yeah, I mean that's okay though because it's it's not worth a lot. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't change anything. He just needs Alaska, Arizona, and it looks like he's going to win Michigan. And he he did win uh, win uh, Pennsylvania. Yes. Fox um, hasn't called that yet. Yeah, yeah, the Guardian has called it, but Fox is not. Which is weird. You think that they were they were super fucking trigger happy it. earlier. No, I'm, I'm not seeing it on... Um, oh, yeah, they didn't. Huh. That's weird. Yeah. Oh, my God. They called Wisconsin, but I, I, I noticed on Google that they haven't... Here, let me see what happened. <clears throat> um, so, uh, some, some guy called Connor Jenkins has tweeted me saying, Clinton is still favored to win the popular vote by one point. Um, okay. okay. Wow. By, by what does it have to do with the price of tea in China? <laughs> President Trump is trending on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> President Trump. President elect. Uh, LGBTQ is currently trending. He, oh he never said a fucking God. thing about the LGBTQ. Wow. I don't understand. This is like, th this is that's okay for 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 a brief time. White America was tweeting was trending on Twitter. That was pretty neat. This is really. Well, I mean, yeah. Really, I mean, really. I, <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm not sure if that's um. If that's the scary alt right neo Nazis coming no, out, no, that is definitely <laughs> not that on Twitter. No, that was the other way around. Actually, that was mostly people complaining that now, white like... America is at fault for this. It's white America's fault. We have a Trump election. That's basically what they were saying. Oh, of course, yeah. But fireworks are going off outside. This is yeah, great. I can hear them. Are you sure they're fireworks? <laughs> no, I live in Orange County. Is means... like the one red area in all of Southern California. People here are fucking ecstatic. <laughs> Some people have said they're considering Cal exit. It just started trending. Oh yeah, that's trending on Twitter right now. I see it. Uh, but Tyler, you are forgetting that East County San Diego is also about as red as uh, oh, as the yeah. OC, and that's where I lived. Yeah, where people would okay. openly fly the fucking Confederate flag. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Justin Trudeau intro is introduced a bill that would make it easy to move to Canada. <laughs> of course he has. So people can go and get what, less. <laughs> That'll less help their value um, and pay higher taxes. Fuck look, that. Look at the yeah. Christina Hoff Summers tweet. Did Gamergate do this? <laughs> <laughs> it probably she, did. That's there's probably some overlap there. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Harris just tweeted out. It's very tempting to spend the next four years just reading and writing fiction. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I bet he's he feels taking it like an adult. <laughs> I love where he said he he uh, he jinxed the election. Al Kalinsky <laughs> saying that he can't believe that she didn't concede. Uh, he said that she got blown out. Hmm. He's right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Dat doen ze wel mensen pas zelfs als de laatste staat. Je doet dat vaak nog even.
dann muss ich das auch durch Schatten und Sturm halt schon ja so beherrschen, dass ich das also nach der Welt auch reagiere. Ich bin mir vor, dass ich das auch nicht so viel reagiere. Und dann muss ich später mit der Apparently, the Clinton campaign are refusing to accept the results of the count. Yeah. Let's see if Obama's tweeting anything. Highly doubt it. Nope. No, they're all going to be pretty quiet tonight. They're they're waiting for all the dust. Let's go to Sarah Silverman again. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, the Jacqueline Glenn's suicide party has started. There, there's a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's an older tweet by Hillary Clinton that she's congratulating herself and she's saying happy birthday to this future president. Yeah, it's a yeah. Of she tweeted it. Oh, man. The, oh. I'm going to put that in chat. Have you seen the Silverman tweet? How cringe. It's fucking Anne Frank. God damn yeah, it's it. Fuck, yeah, Silverman tweeted Anne Frank. Unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, it wow. Apparently, Tyler, the creator, is going crazy on Twitter as well, just laughing. That's funny. Hey, did he support Trump, or is he just being Tyler? I think he's just. I think he's. Just, I think he's mocking Hillary supporters. Bob Chipman retweeted. Yeah, I, I think Tyler's I'm just here for the chaos. How much white people hate people of color? Shut up, Bob. <laughs> the white men are coming. The white <laughs> men are coming. I'll Trey now, Melvin. Now, now that Trump has been himself. elected, we're coming for all the colors. Oh, Trey Melvin's got a little gif of himself picking up a bag and leaving the room. He called something. <laughs> guys, they called something because Google says he's at 266 now. Uh, called, Arizona, uh, uh, Alaska? No. Nope. Nope. Uh, what was it? He, I don't know, but he's 75,000 ahead in. Um, Pennsylvania. Oh, that's been pulled anyway. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's going to win Michigan and Wisconsin and Arizona. Fox, Fox has just given up on updating everything, haven't they? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to. The Hillary out. Clinton streams over. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell they called? Because they've packed it in. There you go. If I'm a Trump supporter right now, especially if I'm there, man, I'm pissed off because it's like, you know, I'm sure Trump was there, like he's ready to go, like, and now you got to fucking delay the entire goddamn thing because fucking Grandma Clinton needs to go to bed and <laughs> fucking not give up the fact that she just lost the fucking election. You, you know that she's thinking about this. The stress. She might be in the hospital. Yo, can you imagine how sort of uh, gingerly Bill Clinton's going to be around her for next week? Wheel her fucking ass <laughs> out there and get it over with. This is really going to fuck up tomorrow night's South Park episode. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry, at this point, that is literally what I care about. Like, yeah. I was all excited for it. My, yeah, I would like to think they wrote both. It's all fucked up. <laughs> It does good. It does make good comedic uh, sense to the show now because uh, Garrison will win, or at least hopefully it won in that. And then it's just like his whole the whole shtick at this point in the show is that like he just he's trying desperately to lose, and no matter what, everyone likes him. I think that's a pretty good gag. It'd be funny to yeah, watch it, that continue. It, it seems uh, he like, tries to get himself in peace. Starting on Twitter now. Uh, oh God. <laughs> The party is unstable. Remember, she's probably in a violent rage at the moment. Hey, so somewhere right now, Hillary Clinton is tearing apart a hotel room or something. I'm surprised she can probably just bring, bring in, in all of her interns. Season. She's probably just bringing in all of her interns one at a time and just putting a round in their head. <laughs> No, I yeah. think at this point she's going to be wearing she... a strap on and giving it to Podesta because uh, he kind of maybe deserves it. Oh, see? see? This is why I cleaned my gun earlier. If y'all go and riot and tear shit up, don't do it in your neighborhood, my black people. You go and fuck up white people shit on your own. Yay. <laughs> Take that shit in the summer. 
<sighs> I'm so tired. Yeah. Is there anything else we're expecting? Uh, Trump, Trump's um, speech, his victory speech. Yeah, I would. I, would like I don't think we're gonna get that tonight. Yeah, let's so? um, yeah, let's call it because I am, I am shattered, guys. <laughs> yeah, what do you have? Yeah. We're at a long time in Europe. Europe. Yeah, yeah, but um, this has been uh, an amazing amount of fun. <laughs> I can hardly believe what's fun. the fun is just getting started. Sorry. Yeah. Holy yeah. Shit. Oh, yeah. Wait the until tomorrow. Will be strong all week. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I probably, I probably will do a stream tomorrow when I wake up. Dank memes ahead of us. God. Yeah, this tomorrow's is gonna be a fucking mess. Oh, it's gonna be a bloodbath, isn't it? But, yeah. Um, but right. I'm looking forward to that uh, debate with uh, Tracy today. So. Oh, God, me too. Yeah. I, I can't <laughs> on Twitter. Do, do, make, do, 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 do. make sure Time you notify brag. me so I can watch it. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, actually, I'm going to get the family ready for it. We're all going to watch it. <laughs> I, I a nice you, family event. I bet you anything he backs out because he'll be that salty. Of course he will. Of course, of course, he, will. course he will back out. Jesus, he's got no nuts, man. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Edgy, thanks so much for doing like the visuals on this, man. You, oh, no. no yeah, man. So well big... set up for it, man. But that's awesome. Really appreciate it. Yeah, no big deal. Cool. And, uh, I, yeah. I, uh, th this has just been an interesting ride. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, everyone. <laughs>